Welcome back to another Division 2 build guide. I'm Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and today I wanted to respond to viewers that ask me which build I use to quickly clear content for shade ranks or when farming for gear. Now this easy to assemble skill build is nothing new, and you can probably find many build guides showing this exact build or a close variant to it, but there were several changes in Title Update 10 that have now made this build even stronger. So for the next few minutes, I will show you how to put it all together along with explanations and hopefully you enjoy it. But before we begin, I wanted to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. As last night, the channel passed the 50,000 subscriber count and it has continued to steadily rise from there. But just in case you haven't yet smashed that sub button for intensive division content, please do so. And don't forget to ring the bell to never miss a future upload notification from my channel. Here's to another 50k. And with that, let's begin. Okay, so here's the overview, and this skill build is built around three pieces of hardwired, two pieces of Hanayu, and one piece of Wyvern. Now, in order to get the body armor and backpack talents that you want, it is important to avoid using hardwired on either of those gear slots. And notice that I am only using three pieces of this gear set for the two-piece bonus of 15% skill haste and the three-piece bonus of 15% skill damage. For the specialization, I use the Technician spec for the talents. Overclocked CPU grants this build plus 10% skill damage. Technomancy gives us plus 15% bonus armor when aiming a skill. So if I am taking some incoming fire, but I need a little extra time to aim and throw my turret to a perfect spot, this really helps out. Amped instantly gives this build plus one skill tier, although I don't use it properly, more on this later. And Dismantling gives us plus 12% damage to drones, skill proxies, and robotics. So it is extremely useful against Black Tusk on Heroics or the White Tusk on Legendaries. For the mask, I am using the Hardwired Mask with skill damage and a skill haste mod. Now, if you don't have a Hardwired Mask in your inventory, check the crafting bench and see if you have the blueprint. If so, craft one and then use the recal station to roll as close to max skill damage as possible. For the holster, use the exact same principle as the mask. You want a hardwired piece with skill damage and you can craft one at the bench if you need one. Use the recal station to re-roll skill damage to as high as possible. The third piece of hardwired are the knee pads and again you want skill damage and use the crafting and recal stations to make one if you don't already have it. Now on to the last three gear pieces and these are going to take just a bit of farming. First up is the body armor, and I am using Hana Yu with the Kinetic Momentum talent. Hana Yu grants the build Skill Haste and Skill Damage for the 1 and 2 piece bonuses, which are both ideal for this build concept. Kinetic Momentum builds stacks while a skill is active or on cooldown. Now the max stack grants the build 15% skill damage, and this is for each skill, so you get the idea here. We want both skills to be building up those stacks simultaneously for the extra skill damage. My body armor piece is not ideal as I have headshot damage, but what you were looking for is skill haste, skill damage, and then you could either re-roll the offensive mod slot to utility, or you can re-roll the skill tier to armor or offensive depending on your needs. Remember that with the technician specialization, you have the amped talent that still gives us the plus one skill tier, so this build will still be at a skill tier six even if you recal the core attribute. For the gloves, I am using Hana Yu for the aforementioned two-piece bonus of skill damage, and I have maxed out skill haste and skill damage as the attributes. My backpack is Wyvern Wear for the one-piece bonus of skill damage, along with skill damage and skill haste attribute rolls and a skill haste utility mod. Now for the talent, I am using Combined Arms, as I like to shoot my rifle with this build, and every time I connect with an enemy target, Combined Arms will proc. Once procced, this talent will stack plus 25% skill damage to my skills, and along with kinetic momentum and all the skill damage already on this build, it really juices up the damage output. Alternative talents for the body armor could also include Spotter, but make sure to equip the linked laser pointer to take full advantage of this talent, and you will have to sacrifice one of your skills, Overwatch, Spark, or Glass Cannon. If you are really reckless and are constantly on the edge of dying, you may want to sacrifice some of your skill damage and elect to use Unbreakable. Alternate backpack talents could include Tech Support or Shock and Awe, but that talent will only proc once a status effect has been applied to enemy targets. For the weaponry, it is really pretty simple. You want a hard-hitting rifle for the high base damage along with the Spike weapon talent. Spike's duration was nearly doubled for Title Update 10 now up to 15 seconds, so this extra skill damage is ideal for the build. 
Now I currently use a maxed out classic M1A with spike, or you could use the named LVOAC, the Surge, for the perfect spike talent and get that extra 5% skill damage. Here's a tip for you if you don't have a suitable primary weapon with spike, use the Maxim 9 sidearm. That's the pistol you unlock with the Technician specialization and it will have perfect spike already on it. Mods on my Assault turret include Health, Damage, and Haste, while the Striker Drone mods are Duration, Damage, and Health. I really don't have the best of luck with skill mods, so I use whatever I can find. Overall, the build concept is really quite simple. Get to a safe location that I can fire my weapon, deploy both my turret and drone, get kinetic momentum and combined arms proc'd while trying to hit a headshot from time to time allowing Spike to proc as well. I mean, it's nothing overly complicated, and as you will see from the clips at the end of the video, this basic skill damage build will melt NPCs on heroic difficulty, even when in a full squad, and I have used this build on Legendary Solo as well. Now in the future, I'd like to work on the body armor just a bit more, and possibly recal it to armor for more sustain, while keeping the haste, damage, and kinetic momentum. Well, that's going to wrap up today's easy mode skill damage build guide, and I look forward to reading your feedback in the comment section below. If you haven't yet smashed that sub button for intensive division content, please do so. And don't forget to ring the bell to never miss another upload notification from my channel. If you liked the video, rate it with a thumbs up, if not with a thumbs down. If you feel like supporting my full-time content creation outside of YouTube, links to my Patreon and Teespring store both in the video description below. Follow me on Twitter for all my latest thoughts concerning most things gaming related. Stay tuned for clips featuring this exact build in action. And until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off. Restored.